Okay, so another example here of using our half angle identities to evaluate uh, uh, a trig expression here. So we want to evaluate tangent of 105 degrees. Well, let's see, again, if you double 105 degrees, that would be 210 degrees. So we can write 105 as 210 over 2. And again, now all I'm going to do is just uh, use our identity here. So we'll use the bottom identity. And it says we simply get 1 minus cosine of whatever values hanging out on top, which is going to be 210 degrees, all over sine of 210 degrees. And now it's just simply a matter of evaluating cosine of 210 degrees and sine of 210 degrees. Well, let's see. I believe our reference angle, so if we go halfway around, that'll be 180 degrees. So then we would have to go another 30 degrees to get to our angle of 210 degrees. Let's see, if we think about, um, I guess, the angle uh, 30 degrees in the first quadrant. Let's see, in the first quadrant, we get root 3 over 2 for the x-coordinate on the unit circle, and we get 1 half for the y-coordinate. So that means at 210 degrees, well, uh, they would both be negative in quadrant 3. So okay, so now I've got my values that I need. We'll get 1 minus cosine. Well, cosine would be negative root 3 over 2. Sine is going to be the value of the y-coordinate, which will simply be negative 1 half. So let's see, in the numerator, we'll just be left with 1 plus root 3 over 2. In the denominator, we have our negative 1 half. I think I would do the same thing as before, just uh, you know, get rid of the, the denominators, the 2's. I would multiply the numerator by 2, and the denominator also by 2. So if we do that in the numerator, we'll get 2. Uh, the 2's will cancel out when we distribute, and we'll be left with the square root of 3. In the denominator, again, the 2's will cancel. We'll simply be left with negative 1. You can always distribute that negative. Um, I'll just pull it out front and say we have negative 2 plus uh, square root of 3. And I think uh, there's not much else you can really do there. You can always turn it into a decimal, but this is a nice exact answer. So I think I'm going to leave it just like that.